Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the study. Going to be talking about a think or swim tutorial here on how to add a uh, simple moving average study. This is very simple. This is not going to go into the breakdown of the simple moving average. I have another YouTube video on that if you're interested. And if you guys can do me one quick favor, hit that like button. That helps me out a ton and I truly appreciate it. So let's jump right in. We have Apple stock pulled up here on the yearly chart and I want to add simple moving averages. To do that, I go to studies and I'm going to go to add study all the way down here moving averages and what I'm going to select is the simple moving average as you can see a line is added here the simple moving average I'm going to right click on that uh, teal line and I'm gonna hit edit study when I go to edit study now I am going to change the length to 50 and that is going to be equivalent to the 50 simple moving average. I like to use the closing price here in case you're wondering what any of these other indicators mean and you don't have anybody to help you out. Guess what? You just click on the question mark and it tells you exactly what's going on in each of these. Um, to set up the rest, you can show plot names if you want. You can show input names. Uh, maybe you don't want this data on the right side. You can have it on the left side instead. You just click left axis here. And then if you want to change the way how the line looks, you can do that as well. We can do uh, these dots here, um, a dotted plot, right? And then you can make the style thin, thick. You can make the width here. So I'll make it a three. And then I'll change the color to, um, let's say, a green, right? And I apply, and then look at that. We have our simple moving average of 50 here. Okay, now let's say I want something on a longer time frame to compare to, such as a simple moving average 200. We would do the same repeated exercise. This is a great way to remember how to do this and get used to the platform. So studies, add study, go to moving averages, simple moving average, you have the standard line shows up here, right click, edit, and then we are going to change it to 200 to make it a 200 simple moving average. And what I'm gonna do is I'll select the circles that we have, right? Make that a width of three, and then I am going to change the color to a this goldish color right here. And there we go. We are good to go. And you have now two simple moving averages added to your chart on Thinkorswim. Now, before we end the video, I'm going to show you guys something very helpful that I like to use with all my studies that I set up. Before we close this out, and let's say you lose the studies, right? And you have to add them all over again. We can save this study set by going to studies save study set and we're going to name it SMA 50 200 boom so if I go to a new chart or let's say we got rid of these right and somebody um, wants to add that same data set of those studies right onto any chart you're working with especially when you work with multiple charts to save you some time Go to studies, go to load study set, SMA 5200, and boom, there you go. You have it super simple, easy. If you guys want more videos of these, please let me know. Subscribe to stay uh, tuned on any updates and new content, and I will see you in the next one.